working on a Beckett play is different than working on other plays because, uh, well, he's so such a master with the language, and it's for me it feels like Endgame is is about a ninety minute long poem that's spoken by four people. Um, and because the language, his language is so spare and resonant and full at the same time. Um, Shakespeare is verse as well, but it's, it's packed with words and images and, and Beckett's kind of the opposite. He takes everything out. He doesn't decorate anything. It's just the bare minimum of what he wants in it. And, and at the same time, it's so full. And, and so it's, uh, there, there are aspects of naturalistic dialogue, but then there are places where it's like you're in this big poem or, or uh, uh, I don't know, painting. I've worked on the character, in addition to working from the inside, which is sort of, you know, the psychological realism, getting at the, at the ideas, getting at the feelings of the character, it's also uh, been sort of an outside-in process, which is, you know, uh, you come up with with the way the way that Clove walks around, which which has nothing to do with really what Clove is thinking, but uh, but but that sorry, but that but that um, you know it, it working working physically and also working just technically on on the lines as opposed to the inside motivating how the lines are said sometimes. It's it's the lines themselves, the way that the lines are are spoken, that that influences the, the internal process. I came to teach at the high school where Avery was a junior, and um, I was a uh, real rap scallion. He was a rap scallion, <laughs> but he was he was obviously he took a lot of joy in theater, and Stop. and we uh, had a lovely time working. I have a, a strong background in a particular kind of commedia theater, and Avery is a circus technician. Juggler, stilt walker. I try to. I try to keep that private. Uh, if we could he's erase that part of the table, he's got some big stilts. I'm tell you right now, he's got some big thick stilts. I'll give you a hundred dollars for that tape <laughs> right now. I've got, you know, I've got thirty-two hundred dollars in my backpack right now, and I will give you anything, literally anything, for that tape. Next question. That's not interesting. <laughs> I've, I've known Avery for seven years. And he was, was my teacher for a while. He was his teacher, and we worked together. Uh, I directed him and taught him, and now we work together as colleagues on stage. Uh, both of us have known Rob, our director, for the same number of years, and um, it's an immensely valuable um, way of working and doing theater. Uh, it tends to be t more a model of, of the way theater is done in Europe, um, uh, mm. they, they, they tend to have a set repertory company that they will explore a variety of different kinds of work with and make their own style, make their own uh, way of going about things. And um, uh, not only is the trust level, but the trust level goes, uh, gets much higher and therefore you can take a lot more risks. And hopefully what we're doing on stage is risky. We, we're putting ourselves in a position where we're trying things that we uh, are difficult and that we're trying to communicate things that are difficult in a difficult and hopefully a compelling way for the audience and when you meet somebody for the first time and you work for three and a half, four weeks on a show and then you throw yourselves out on stage, um, it's hard to take those risks. You want to play it safe. You don't want to look like an asshole. It just got real. And so, <laughs> and so you play it, play it a little safer. And, and um, uh, but when you know someone a little better, you're more willing to take risks and hopefully through the process of working on Endgame, which is this incredibly layered piece, and we're just now starting to get the precision, the technical precision down, just starting to. And I'm just anxious to three weeks from now know what Avery and I are able to do with our relationship on stage that we don't have to think about the precision and we can really take some interesting ri risks then. For instance, um, yesterday, I just started walking around backstage naked, um, which was something that I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, he took See the ya. risk. <laughs> he took the risk, and it didn't work out. It didn't work out the first time. Not the first time. I didn't 
lied and to me. A couple members of the crew got pretty upset. Yeah. There's going to uh, be a lawsuit, actually. Cat's definitely going to sue you. Yeah. For harassment. <laughs>